A question from Mark Bodheimer. Hi, Mark. How are you? You asked, which is kind of an interesting question. I don't think I've ever had this question asked, whether any of the musicians that we had on the show actually ended up playing uh, sets or playing at all um, for the cast and crew. Uh, yeah, occasionally, you know, there were some, I mean, Jim, of course, would um, bring out his guitar occasionally and we would go and watch him. Uh, play. Uh, people like Roger Daltrey and Roland Gift didn't really do that. They were there to act. They'd had enough of their um, their their um, musicians' uh, days. They just wanted to stay there and act. So I think they they stayed in their own lane. But yes, yeah, there were times when you know informally we would all go out. Um, there was one time we actually ended up in on Vancouver up in Whistler, uh, where we all went out and uh, you know walked the mountain. Um, so there are sometimes on on sets where people do uh, bond with somebody else, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're actually going to live the rest of their life with them. Because on a movie set, you can get very close to somebody, and then it's all gone within you know two months later. You swear that you're going to see each other, and you never see each other again. Um, <laughs> but um, as for playing, uh, we would normally go and watch the musicians play elsewhere. And uh, we occasionally had, um, you know, s some musicians on set, like I said, Jim Burns. But in reality, you've just worked a 12, 13 hour day. And sometimes it's good to have a beer and, and listen to music. But, you know, the person that's actually playing the music has also been working. So they might not be too clean, keen on actually, um, you know, playing for everybody else. Although sometimes I think it was more of a cathartic uh, release is music. And I think it has a great benefit for kids.